Alright everybody, we are back with some more Chrono Cross. Since the last episode, I did manage to fix a couple issues. Uh, the graphics are going to be way better, especially in battle, you'll see once we get into it. I don't think I've fixed the crashing issue. Hopefully it crashes less. Uh, I don't know, but that's kind of what you get with these uh, emulators. So, let's just continue. I think we have to go to Arnie and to see Lena because ooh, something did happen at the beach and it's a little bit weird i know what's going on but i'm not gonna spoil it but let's go talk to lena but you could already tell the graphics are a bit better i did play with some of the so even like the text is better i played with some of the settings in the emulator I look like a boy who used to live next to me, huh? So clearly she doesn't recognize me. That boy died. He drowned when he was very young. This all happened 10 years ago. Soon after his mother passed away too. I was still very young back then so I don't remember. But his name was Serge. Surprise, surprise, that's my name. So clearly the kid is dead in here. You can find his grave up at Cape Howell. Actually, why don't you visit their site? No one's been up there. Still have some chores to finish. Goodbye, stranger. Okay, so I went to the beach, something happened, and apparently these people don't recognize me. So let's go head up to Cape Cowell. Another thing that I did off, uh, off camera, that lady right there that sells stuff, I ended up buying a couple elements, like just antidotes and heals, so nothing big. Okay, Powell is right here, though. So let's go head up to K. Powell. There's nothing over there. And I did fight also some enemies as kind of like a test. Because I was trying to figure out um, whether the game would crash on me or not. So I ended up just doing a bit, a bit of fighting. But it was only like simple enemies. Nothing big. Let's go ahead and equip that Electro Jolt, though. Nope, wrong place. Elements, no. Okay, come on, David. Allocate, there we go. Let's go ahead and put Electro Jolt. We did, I think, level up to get another one. Oh, hold on. Okay, I was like, why can't I put Electro Jolt there? Alright, cool. Alright, oop, not item. Let's go ahead up to Cape Howl. Or, I don't know, Cape Cowl, Cape Cowl, whatever. I don't know, it doesn't matter. There's something written on the tombstone. Rip, our beloved Surge, died age seven. Nobody can take anything away from him, nor can anyone give him, give anything to him. What came from the sea has returned to the sea. So you must be Surge, the ghost of the boy who died ten years ago. Don't move no use. There's no escape that way. All you have to do is come with us. But Sir Karsh, do you think it is truly true that this chap is a ghost? He seems like a perfectly perfect young... God, the way he talks is annoying. That doesn't matter. We found the boy here just as he said we would, didn't we? Now seize him. Hold ya your seahorses. And, uh... There's Kid, finally. Who the? Uh, 
Out of the way, miss. You don't want to get hurt now, do you? I'm not going to even try to read her lines. Like I said, she has like an Australian accent or something. So, you have a problem? Do you have a shaken idea of who you're dealing with, missy? That's enough. Alright, come on. Let's just fight him already. Listen up, Junior. Orders are to take you in. We don't want to hurt you. Just come with us. Or else this axe o oh mine will have to do the talking. For crying out loud, why don't you shut up and get it on with it? I'm going to kick your so hard you'll kiss the moons. Alright, let's do this. Boom, 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 boom. Fair enough. You lose no choice. You'll regret this, Missy. Let's fight. Alright, let's do this. Um, let's take out... Uh, let's take out Soul first. Okay. Hit him with the two. Bop. He doesn't do much damage, actually. Sir... His in his innately inane element color attribute is white. Right, that does it. Quick, attack him with the opponent element attributes color black. So, kind of like the whole Pokemon theme, things are good and strong against each other. Uh, I don't know, so they don't have any black. You should always carry elements of every color. Then how are you? Blah blah blah. I'm shaking in my shoes to tell you this, sir, but I don't have any either. We'll have to let you, sir. Car, show us how it's done. Useless fools or real men don't need magic when they can fight with their might. So yeah, Surge is white. Oh, so you would use black magic against them, but they're dumb. They they forgot it. Set him with the two. Oh come on, don't attack. Eight. Oh yeah, that doesn't actually do much. Let's go ahead and use an element fireball. I think fire is red is good against green, right? Should be. I don't know. Uh, it didn't seem too good. I don't think. Let's go ahead and take this guy out. Good hit. Man, these guys attack often. It's kind of annoying. Hit it. Okay, that was a good hit. Again. It's kind of annoying. I can't even finish off like a wave of attacks. Uh, let's go ahead and use Magma Bomb. This is basically a fireball, but targets multiple enemies. There goes Salt. Oh. Let's go take out Pepor second. Hit it. Nice. Hit that three. Hit him with that two. And then he's yellow. That's not going to work. We'll hit him with the fireball though. Now, I'm hoping to get this battle done quickly so I can go ahead and save. So if the game crashes, I don't lose his progress. Okay, so he's done. Let's go ahead and missed. Okay, hit him with that one. Does she have Pilfer? Uh, she, I think, will get a special ability where you can steal items from people. Usually bosses have better items than just like normal creatures. So, you usually want to Pilfer people like this. Uh, let's go ahead and use Electro Jolt. Maybe, maybe yellow is good against green. Yes, okay. It does seem like yellow is good against green. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Alright. Technically, that was a boss fight. Oh, we got a good couple materials. Nice. Very nice. I'll take it. Sir Karsh, I say we shake it out of here so that we can live. By the way, if you've kind of tell salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Yeah. Uh... Word, these aren't ordinary brats we're dealing with. Cowards. As for you, Missy, we won't forget you. Oh, I'm so scared. Alright, well, thanks, kid. You are right, mate. Serge, your name's Serge, ain't it? Well, right now her name is Girl, because we don't know her name, but her name is Kid. Just, oh, me, my name's. Her name is Kid. I'm gonna leave it as Kid. That is her name. Call me kid. Nice to meet ya. I just couldn't stand by and watch those blokes gang up on you like that. They just pissed me the bloody hell out of... Uh, yeah, I wish I could have... Okay. Yeah, I don't know how to read that. Uh, but why was that mob after ya? No idea. What do you mean you never even met him before? Eh. I ah, forget it.
Hey, Serge, how about you and me team up for a while? That car fella ain't gonna leave you alone, that's for sure. So I'm pretty sure in this part of the story, we either choose for her to come with us or for Lena to come with us. Uh, but I'm, I don't, honestly don't really even like Lena. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna let Kid... Let Kid travel with us. Because I like Kid. She's my favorite character. Beauty mate that decides that they're real good mates now. Yeah. Anyways, it'll be getting dark soon. I guess we could head up to Arnie and shack up for the night. Oh, and Serge, don't go trying any funny stuff just because I'm cute and all. Alright, I'm try my best. Let me save. I really need to save. At this point, I'm not taking no chances. Oi, let's get our arses down to Termina. Alrighty, tidy. Let's do this. Oh, yeah, mate. I nearly forgot. Let me give you this. It's a teleporter. You'll be able to switch your party members from afar. All you have to do is... Oh, it's the planner. Uh, let's, let's look it up in the menu. So, I'm pretty sure... I'll look it up in the menu in a second here. I'm just gonna run outside and save. Uh, who, though? What are you doing in my house? My is a playground for kids. Alright, go play outside. Um, Marge, who the... So, Serge lived here, and his mom was supposed to be here. Uh, I've been in the house for five years now. Sorry, that name doesn't ring a bell. So, whatever with all your gibberish, man, you better get out of here. So, yeah, uh, in this... Because uh, I don't I don't want no spoilers, but basically, his mom is dead in this place. Ugh, no spoilers. But his mom is dead. Uh, I'm pretty sure Lena said that in the earlier dialogue. But let's go ahead and uh, quickly hit up a save. Quickly hit up a save. Bam. Alright, so even if we crash, it won't matter. At least, not too much. I'll be able to make it up in like 30 seconds. Let's go see if... Does she have any new elements? Let's see. Anything new? Nope. Okay, that's fine. And then, oh, there's the crash. All right, so we saved in basically the perfect time. So now we got to go to Termina, which is basically through this canyon. So let's go ahead, continue on our journey. Our excavation is nearly complete. You're stuck to the low path. Make sure you wake. We have some of our men working on the high ground, so do not interfere with their work. So yeah, basically before all of that, we actually couldn't get through this valley. Uh, but I never really came here because I knew I couldn't go through it, but now that that's kind of done, we can go through it. That's why I said, now you're good to go, because technically I was supposed to come here and not be allowed, but obviously I knew I wasn't going to be allowed, so it just didn't bother. But yeah, oh, in battle, now you can see kind of things look a lot better. You could finally see the field effect, too. And yeah, um, about the crashing, I don't really know what I can do other than try a new emulator or a new, like, copy. I don't know. But that's a little bit too much work and I don't want to lose a save file. So I'll just have to kind of work through it. So we, we're we later in the game, we're going to go up there and find some stuff, do some things. For now, no. But yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to deal with this and I'll have to try to strategically save also, that big bird up there, we can fight, but it's a really tough bird. So we should probably come back when we're a little bit higher leveled and take that on. Oh, I can't wish to get back to the manor like this. We failed in our mission. That was awfully awful back there, Pepper. I want a rematch, by the way. Do you remember what kind of outfit he was shaking? Hmm. Just something just like that, Pepper. Oh, you remember. So he looked like that, huh? Actually, it's him, Pepper. Uh, so you're sure about that? Wonderfully wonderful thing, Pepper. Let's shake it. We're really going to shake it to you this time. Let's are fighting them again. Yeah, again, so many of these things are supposed to be spaced apart for a new player, but since I kind of know what I'm doing, I'm kind of just like beelining it through. This time I made sure to bring the black helmet with me, Pepper. Good, we'll shake it on him and attack him with it. Affirmatively affirmative. So apparently he has some black magic now. Let's see if he does. Turn black. Yeah, see that, um... Oh, dearly dear. That was no black attack element you just used, was it? He was a black element that makes your foe more susceptible to attacks of the opposite white, wasn't it? I'm afraid you're right. How so he turned me black. 
You didn't really attack me. You did bring a white attack helmet with you, didn't you? If you didn't bring one with you, you're more stupid than I thought. Or I'm awfully awful. I'm afraid I didn't. So, yeah. These guys are kind of supposed to be stupid. But hey, I'll take it. Makes it easier fight for me. But yeah, these guys are basically like the humor in all this. So he strengthened himself, which isn't going to do much for him. Wham. Wham. Let's go ahead and fireball him. Bam. Let's go ahead and defend. Pepper box. So this is kind of a special ability, although it's not very strong. Hit him with the double. I probably should have used Magma Bomb earlier instead of Fireball, but oh well. Honestly, doesn't like really matter. Bam. Good stuff. Bum ba bum 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 bum. It's another boss. More levels up. We got a new element uplift. Retreat, let's shake it on out of here. So again, we could try to take on that bird, but it's not a super good idea because we'll die. We need to be quite a few more levels up before we try to take that on. But of course, now we are out here on the other side of the, uh, the little landmass. Let's save so we don't crash. Bam, just like that. Okay, so now we can go over here to like, I think there's like a marsh, the manor which we can't get into. Where we're supposed to go is over here into Termina, which is basically like the biggest city in the game. Sorry, I'm totally out of the Belfire. Out of Belfire, there's a big ruckus down in the Fossil Valley. Men from the Dragoons were setting roadblocks in the valley. I'll get some in a few days, so come back again then. Young man, you have many, you have my sincerest apologies. I understand we are here to prep to you as Casey Dragoons. Those knights should be done with their work shortly. Oh, that's all right. I can get my flowers from other places too. Never mind that. I haven't seen cards around him lately. How is he doing? Well, he said he was going to ghost hunting down south. I'm just a private, so I do not know for something, but I heard a rumor that Lord Viper ordered him to do that. So, or some dude sent him for me, a ghost. Now, that is something. I just hope it's not a sign of coming disaster. If you see him, Give him my regards. I will do that, and I will be back. Oi, did you hear that? Karsh is that bastard that we saw at the Cape, and that ghost he's hunting. Ain't that you, mate? So that Acacia Dragoon mob is behind after this. Let's check this place out a bit more. So yeah, now we shall explore the city. And we'll... What, what was that? You don't know who he is? Ah, he must be one of the tourists here. So, that boy is your sweet Glenn, a member of the Kish. Uh, pretty popular with the people here, but it really surprised me to see that naughty little boy grown so much. It makes me feel my age. Sorry. So, let's hunt as much as we can until I crash. Uh, welcome. Would you like to stay with us? Basically, this is an inn. That you can stay to refill your HP, but I don't really need that. And e these are save points. So you could save only on the outside map and these save points right here. So while I'm here, might as well hit up a save. Just like that. Oh, better click on it again. The end is a hotspot of rogues, blah, blah, blah. Can we go inside these rooms? We can. Let's see if there's anyone interesting in them. Okay, so she, she's saying that there's a kid. Uh, blah, blah, blah. This guy has nothing good to say. Basically, what she told us is that there's a kid with a boat, which will be useful information for later. Just run into here. <clears throat> okay. And uh, the crashing, it seems like it happens about every 12 to 15 minutes. So... <clears throat> I'm expecting a crash in the next three minutes, if it is based on time. Alright, so there's a bar and Lisa's in. Let's, let's check out both of these. So 
So these guys are talking something about a frozen flame. Which will be part of the storyline later. Welcome, our house is open all, but don't allow any... Put your feet up and have a grand time. Okay, uh... Okay. Hee <laughs> hee, the blah, blah blah blah. I don't really care about their dialogue. Let's talk to this guy. My name is Giel. I'm having a certain bet with a fortune teller by the bridge. If I can bring the item of proof from the manor within a week, I shall... If I cannot, I shall lose. So he needs to get something from the manor. As there's a trick behind any mysterious matter, there's no such thing as an impregnable fortress in the world that toasts to my coming victory. So, he needs to go to the manor. And, wink wink, we're probably going to have to go into the manor at some point too. Let's go check out Lisa's inn thing. I'm pretty sure we can buy elements here. How may I help you? Yeah, we can buy elements here. Let's go ahead and buy... Uh, these are both... We'll buy one of these, one of these, one of these, one of these, and one of these. And two of those. Alright. Let's head on out of here. And, uh... Let's go see. Master Viper, I'm here to polish your statue again. So that's apparently the guy that sent those three after us. Alright, squeaky clean. I've got it to be extra clean for the coming festivities. Have you folks come to the Viper Festival? Termed as a peaceful thanks to the watchful eye of our Master Viper at times. Time strict. He watches over. With that said, of course, the real master resides in the manor along with his Acacia Dragoons. If you'll allow me to brag a little bit, I was invited to the manor a while back. It is a magnificent place. If there is a heaven on earth, that would be it. The manor is beautiful, and its design incorporates the surrounding terrain to its advantages, making it an incomparable fortress. On top of that, there are powerful soldiers standing guard in the front of the main gates that can destroy any monster with just one blow. While an upright citizen like myself might be invited to the monster's manor's garden party, but not so for you folks. The most of you will get is a cold reception from the gate guards. Ho, ho, ho. All right, that's settled. We've got to sneak into the Viper Manor. Got to find out what those are up to. Uh, Why was Karsh? I've got some business there as well, so I'll go with you. How about it, Serge? Let's do this. It's an obvious choice, right? According to the Grandpa here, the Viper's Manor is a bloody large place, which also means it won't be an easy break to. There's got to be more than one way. If we don't plan this right, it'll cost us our lives. Truly. So real quickly, we're gonna do two things. Uh, wait. No, we gotta go to the bar. Yeah, like I said, this dude over here wanted to go. How you doing? There's no such thing. Okay. Home so you have business the matter as well. Gambling is a lot more interesting with higher stakes. As a seasoned sailor, okay. If you can find one, leave the rest to me. Okay, so let's go ahead and ask for his help. He will come with us to the manor, and of course we're gonna leave his name as Giel. Perfect, now we got three people. Once you find a boat, leave the rest to me, I shall guide you. I believe the fortune teller said the target for the bet is located at the manor's mess hall. So if you guys remember that one girl that was talking about uh, renting a boat, so that is going to be our next objective. But real quickly, I'm going to run and save at the end before I crash, because I'm at 25 minutes here. I am prime for a crash in. Nope, not like that. So let's go ahead, do up a save. Alright, cool. So, we saved our progress so far. So, before we actually find the boat, uh, let's make sure to explore the rest of the town, just kind of so we know what's up. So let's check out the building to our left and right. I'm just too cool. Okay. Let's see what's inside this house.
And that is how six great dragoons sealed the dark evil and restored peace to the land of the end. Mama, do dragons really exist? How big are they? Oh, silly, this is a fairy tale. The old people made it up. But Mama, Corchus says dragons still exist. Are you still playing with that boy? How many times have I told you to stay away from him? Besides, how spoke us like that? That's making Goldov so remote to us on the main. Where in the world is there a such thing as a dragon tier? I'm sorry, Mama, but Corchus stories are fun to listen to. This already told last time about Master Viper's manor was so scary. No buts. Anything the boy says is flat out lie. Any child that believes in such nonsense is not a child of this family. No way I belong to this family. Cough, cough. There, there, you're not going to get better if you don't listen to me. Now, if you promise me you won't play with Korcha anymore, I will tell the next story. I promise, so please tell me the next story. Yes, yes, what should I read up next? Uh, spoiler, dragons do exist. We'll see them later on, at some point. So we'll see what this house is about. What's going on? Yes, who might you be? Grandma, these are travelers passing through my mind. So sorry, my eyes have become really weak in my old age, and I thought that my grandson had come back. My grandson was such a cute boy. He was really plump and cheerful and loved to make people laugh. That's why the boy joined the circus to become a clown. For the first few years, he wrote letters to me almost daily. He said he, how grateful the work was, although it was very, how gratifying the work was, but it was challenging. One day, his letters suddenly stopped coming. I haven't heard from him since. I hope he wasn't in an accident or something. I just pray that I might see his cheerful face once more. Over the heavens, come claim my soul. Grandma keeps waiting for Suyo, tells me stories about him. We don't know where he is. If you ever meet him on our travels. And there is the crash. Bam. Okay, so 28 minutes. Hmm. Alright, so I'm not going to repeat uh, those two houses because we were in there. No reason to go back. So we checked out this entire part of the town. Over there, you know what, actually, let's go ahead and check it out. Basically, we're about to end the episode, so let's just kind of check out everything before we leave. Me work, but work all day, tiring, need rest, when we blah, 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 this guy doesn't speak correctly. What are you looking at? I'm working here, get out of my way, you're boring me. You're not working. What did you just say? Maybe you don't get by, but I'm here to oversee these demi humans. These guys always slack on the job. If you don't watch me carefully, I need to keep my eyes peeled. What's this about? Termin a festival. Authorized personnel only. You have no business. Keep moving. Let's see. Can we get. Can we do anything up here? Where are the twins back? I'm Yi and she is me. We are just backstage support for Nikki and Miki, Miki, whatever. Someday we're going to take the lead on the stage. But when will such a day ever come, Sai? And I'm guessing that big crowd above is a line or people trying to see Nikki. This year is off limits. All non staff members keep out. Yeah, they're up there trying to see Nikki, but um, clearly they can't. So what we're going to do real quick is we're going to talk to a few people on the other side of town. And then we're going to leave off the episode. So yeah, we basically checked out everything in this area. Let's kind of go see what's up over here. Our mighty anxious, sorry, it'll just be a bit longer. I'll have these hot baked viper churros ready in a jiffy. What's that? You don't know what viper churros are? First, grind down. Okay. Uh, I don't really care. Okay, he just told us how to whatever. So, this is a fortune teller. Let's see what she has to say. Who might you be? Fortunes be good, fortunes be bad. So anything from readings or destiny, searching for the missing. Do you wish your fortune to be read? Yes. Who would you? Let's do surges. Well, this is interesting. You're not dead or anything, are you? Has anybody called you back from the great beyond? You might just be the key to the destruction of this entire planet. Can't say for sure, but fate seems to have a great task for you. Be careful, my boy. Hey, surge, that's nothing but rubbish. Let's hurry up and get moving. Hmm, you there. 
and your eyes I perceive both the look of beauty and the look of a beast. Be mindful not to bring about your own end, my dear. A dream lies in wait, reaching out to engulf you. Sorry, ma'am, I don't believe in fortune telling. I make way, f I make way for me own future by myself. Lastly, you should listen to your elders' advice. Ha! I don't give a damn. Let's go search. Okay. I don't think we need any more. So that way to our right is the boat that we're gonna need. And you know what guys, we're going to end off the episode right here. We're going to check out the upper portion and the side portion in the next episode. For now, I'm going to go to the end, make sure we save our progress. Yeah guys, that was it for today. We defeated Salt and Pepper twice, which was good. Made it through the canyon. Go ahead and save. So yeah guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy... Make sure you like and a comment as it supports my channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.